y'all, I'm Berna from Choices Magazine, and today we're gonna have a totally chill and calm conversation about there's a lot to say about money, but for now we're just gonna cover the basics. Like, how do I make this into this or this or this? Psst, spend it all. Don't think, just buy. You know what you need? Stuff. A skirt! Listen, having money can be super exciting and empowering, but it will slip out of your hands quickly if you listen to that bad advice voice. But all you need is a little bit of organization to start your money life off right. Let me introduce you to three really good friends of mine. Your cash, can I help you? Your checking account, hi, 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 hi. And your savings account, yeah, whatever. Ready? Ow! Who authorized this video shoot? Now let's talk about something we all know, actual cash money. The great thing about cash is when you have it, it's like, yay. But cash can disappear so quickly, it's usually more like, hey. Organizing your cash so you don't always feel broke can be a little tricky, but if you just, just stuff all your cash in your wallet. You might need it for an emergency, AKA, uh-oh, these shoes are mad cute. I need 11 of them right now, right now. <clears throat> Treating yourself today might feel good, but broke you tomorrow is not gonna appreciate it. Okay, try this. Pretend each dollar is like your one super organized, mega serious, rule obsessed friend. We all know someone like that, right? I don't appreciate your tone. Assign each dollar a specific job. Let's say you have $10, right? Maybe two of those dollars will go towards having boba tea with your friends next week. I'll allow it. Maybe three of those dollars will go specifically towards getting candy at the movies on Friday. I concur. Maybe you'll bring five of those dollars to the bank to put in your savings. And we'll talk about savings later. <sighs> what? Keep your cash in labeled envelopes at home. Bubble tea fund, best friend's birthday fund, whatever. And only keep in your wallet what you need that day. If you treat each dollar like it has a specific purpose, those dollars are a lot less likely to just float away from you unnoticed. How about a little something for me? Security! Oh my God, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> now, sometimes you're not always dealing with just cash money stuff. Maybe you get a check from work or from that weird great aunt that talks to her cats. Meow. In order to turn this into this, you're gonna want one of these, a checking account from a bank. It me. <laughs> a checking account is like a digital home for your money. You can take cash, coins, paychecks, great aunt checks, bring it to the bank and they'll hold your money for you in this account. Then you can spend that money by taking it out as cash using a debit card or by writing a check to someone else. You'll also need a checking account to send money to friends via apps like Venmo or Cash App. A dollar for you, a dollar for you, a dollar for you, a dollar. Think of your checking account as that one friend who's like really fun and really energetic, but kind of dramatic depending on what's going on in there. Oh my God, I'm so empty inside. <laughs> Who cares how much is in your account? Boring. Never check it. You know what? All you need to know how to do is this. <laughs> Swipey swipe on my right, ladies. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Swipey swipe. <clears throat> if you run out of money in your checking account, your card can get declined in the middle of your spending. Declined? <laughs> Whatever, I don't even want to eat food anyway. <laughs> And if you try to spend more than you have, some banks will punish you and charge you a fee. To avoid all of that, get into the groove of checking your checking account every single day. Every day? Yes, every day. Most banks have an app for your phone. So think about an app that you love and that you check every day, like Instagram, and make it your mission to check your bank app before you check Instagram. What? Always knowing exactly what's in your checking account will help you control your spending. Check me, check me, check me, check me. <sighs> Why are you talking? Now, let's talk about your bigger dreams, the buy me a car, buy me an island kind of dreams. If you're trying to stack money for a major goal, you're gonna need a savings account. Quit yelling, I'm already here. You open a savings account at a bank to store money that you're trying to keep for a long time. You're really just putting money into a savings account, not taking money out. Think of your savings like that one uncle we all have, who shows up to all the holiday parties, already sleepy, already grouchy. How do I turn you off? See, you don't want to disturb uncle savings. It's good to have a savings goal. So what you want to do, dream big, huge. You want four cars, you want eight tigers. You want to buy literally all of the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's go. What? <laughs> the thing about savings is that it takes Time. Unrealistic savings goal sets you up for failure and frustration and never saving money at all. Okay, you're at a 10, I need you at like a two. What you should do is set one small realistic goal at first, like $100 to buy new headphones, and then you build from there. You can also create one really simple savings rule for yourself, like I'm always gonna save 10% of everything that I get. 
That way, you don't go totally broke while you got your eye on the prize. Could you take your eye somewhere else? Simple rules like that will eventually morph into a good savings habit. And you're gonna need good savings habits in your life because today, you might want that Nintendo Switch, but tomorrow you might want a car or a house or half the Lakers, half a tiger. Come on! That's it, everyone out. Okay, let's rewind and review. You need three things to start managing your money right. An organized way to stash your cash. This pleases me. A checking account that you check daily. Hi, 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 hi. And a savings account with a small, realistic goal. <sighs> you also need new clothes, new shoes, 20 puppies, 80 burgers, 40. <laughs> like I said, money can seem overwhelming, but just start slow with the basics. You got this. I'm Berna from Choices Magazine. Have fun and I'll see y'all. Wait, don't go. I thought we were doing face masks. You are dismissed. <laughs> y'all haven't left yet? <sighs> Later. All you need is a little bit of organization. He's right. He's right. What level security clearance do you have? Show me your badge.